Welcome to the Berea Podcast. This is Troy. And this is Della. This is our special Thanksgiving episode. I've made a list of things I'm thankful for. And I have made a list of things I'm thankful for. And we've not read each other's, and it's just going to be nice and fun to see what we listed in, in random order. Okay? Okay. So, Della, well, you, you go first. You know, because I think in communities all over right now, we're leading up to Thanksgiving, everyone is thinking about things they're thankful for. And so I think it's a great opportunity for us to engage in that here in our town of Berea. I've got some things specific to Berea that we're thankful for, but also things just about our life in general, specifically. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, I, you know, what I think is sometimes it's hard to separate for me what is the community and what is just our life, right? You True. know, because the being a part of a community, it becomes so seamless sometimes. The things that make our life, you know, so joyful is things we don't even think about in our community, like running water. Do you know? I mean, you think about that, you know, having good water supply, having, you know, adequate heat and food and electricity, all those things, you know, we don't even think to be think- thankful for things like that. Did you have that? Was that number three on your list? Running water was not on my <laughs> list. But, you know, uh, you know, when we hear news stories about Puerto Rico, you right. really think, you know. Right. So I guess beginning, I'll start off beginning. I am thankful uh, and, and very grateful to be in a community right now um, that is able to meet some of those really basic needs of its residents. Very true. Because when we lay down at night, we're not worried about our safety. And we're not worried about our where we're going to eat tomorrow. Mm-hmm. That is something to be thankful for. Mm-hmm. That's not on my list, however. Okay. So good to know. Thank you, Della, for making us aware and, of that. And I'm sure there are people in our community uh, that do suffer from food insecurity and maybe don't have adequate heat. But I'm thankful to be in a community that has that on a list of uh, concerns and priorities for our community. Yes. Very true. Sorry to start us off on that somber note. I have other fun ones, but you get to go next. I'm thankful. So this was first on my list. I was thinking about Berea specifically. You know, you mentioned that. And um, Berea is unique that it has a lot of very strong progressives in its community and also very strong conservatives here in the same community. And I think about the same numbers of the strong, you know, people with strong leanings uh, like that I've got friends and Facebook in both of those communities. And it's, it's, I am thankful to be able to see that and not at a distance, but right here, when I go to Walmart, I'm, I see people that think that when I'm pumping my gas, somebody that's getting gas is somebody, you know, that's of the different side. So I appreciate being so close to people and consider them friends that are of those different, um, uh, camps of thought and it goes into that you know that adage that an, a life help me with this a life self-examined no what is this a, a life, life left unexamined da, 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 da. i right. don't know that, right but <laughs> Where are you but going that with this? no 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 exactly yeah. so you know when people post or people are talking about something i do try to listen you know to it to say you know well Do I still think this way or do I not think this way? And um, I enjoy that, that I'm in a healthy community where I can, you know, hear different perspectives. I think that's true. I think that this is a community where people are still talking to each other, it feels like. But we're still new here. Some of that, actually, you and I have talked, is some of what you maybe don't know in year two yet. You know, it seems like everybody is still talking and still uh, rowing in the same direction, maybe uh, with different ideas of um, how to get there, sure. but it still feels that way. Okay, next on my list, so I'm up. You're up. My family, my family for my fun husband. Without him, I would not be sitting here recording this, the Berea podcast. It never would have crossed my mind to ever do something like this if years ago he hadn't got me talking to him about podcasting. So I'm very grateful for you for being so fun and for my sweet daughter, who is just the sweetest child. And I am so grateful for her. Following up on our daughter, uh, one of the things I'm very thankful for is that she goes to a school full of opportunities. 
Yes. She expresses an interest in something that the school does, tries it with all her heart, and is able to, and is welcomed. Right. In, but yeah, and they encourage that. And there's so many, they have club day, they have so many things. They try to find uh, something for all the kids that they may have an interest connect in. Connect with, yes. right? Beyond testing. Mm-hmm. And what I really have loved about this school was how uh, intentional they are about not having cost be a barrier uh, in all in all of their extracurriculars or all of their um, uh, any any anything that's outside of the school or any club or any sport. You know, I, I've sat in. You know, I'm on the SBDM this year, and I was last year too. And I've sat in the meetings where you know people talk about you know. Uh, cost not being a barrier. And I've heard teachers talk about it, and I've heard staff talk about it, and I really love, love, love that about this school. Ernie, what's next on your list? My church. Tell me about it. I I was thinking as I was making this list, and, uh, you know, I don't know that I would, you know, I've loved every church, you know, that we've gone to when we've lived in our different towns. But what I really thought that I'm so thankful for about this church is that I really feel that it is full of grace and forgiveness and also some really good humor. I think they are good-humored people at our church, and I feel when I go there that all mistakes or wrongdoing or all of that is just is just so much grace. There's just so much, you know, understanding. Um, and I love that about our church. I feel that too. Definitely do. We go to, if anyone's interested, we're not, we just, in case you were wondering, wonder what church they go to. We go to the First Christian Church of Berea. That's the church we attend. Uh, do your next one on the list too. Well, okay. why am I doing the next one on just the list? Just change things up. Okay, so I am thankful for our house, and in particular, although I love our house, you know that I love the big porch, I love all of that, but what I really am recently the most thankful for about our house are all the stairs we have. So, you know, we have the basically the real one bathroom we use, which is upstairs, and then our laundry is in the basement. So routinely, I have to walk two flights of stairs multiple times a day. And I'm so thankful for that because it is about the only exercise I'm getting. <laughs> so I'm really glad to at least think, well, I can still walk up and down the stairs. So I am thankful for that unintentional exercise I'm getting. And the next three things I'll combine into one. These are what I'm thankful for at our house, non-human, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for our cats. I love how they come to us and really want our affection. And that's when you're feeling low or down and there's a cat that just buries its head under your hand. That's nice. Mm -hmm. You know, I appreciated that. Yeah, Fluffy loves, 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 loves you. Mm -hmm. Very true. Anyway. Something I'm thankful about that's happened over the past year is, uh, and we may go into some backstory on this, but uh, we had a dog that we had to put down this year. And I'm not thankful that we had it put down, but uh, it was handled so well. And it was time with that dog. But uh, we have so many funny stories about that dog. And I think about it pretty frequently, even though... Most of the time, I, I felt I did not like it much at all. Oh, oh we but loved him. We did. We had all the you know, complex that one? feelings. Remember the was it Thanksgiving or Christmas that he was he ate two different turkeys that it we had. It was two two uh, Christmases ago. Yeah, that it oh. pulled. So it was diabetic and blind. Okay, and he got <laughs> and Cushing's it and went into the refrigerator somehow. Was able to open the door. And uh, pulled out one thawing turkey like the day before Christmas. And then, and ate about half of it, left it in the floor. So we were angry at him then. Next day, so we took pictures of it, pasted it on Facebook. It's hysterical. Next day, we cook our big Christmas dinner. No, you went dinner. bought a cooked turkey because we didn't have time to get it cooked. Right, you but then we warmed cooked. it up and got yes, it out of the right. oven, sliced it, put it on our uh, meal, went into the, the living room. We were eating, watching some movie marathon. And um, we hear this big crash, bang, whatever. And we go in and Buddy had pulled off the turkey from the <laughs> counter and was like eating it like he had never eaten before. And he just ate the turkey the day before. 
I know. So <laughs> that was that dirty. was great. We should post that video again. We should post it on the website. Okay. That would be fun for people of to see. Of him trying to get in the refrigerator because yeah. then we put a lock on the refrigerator door. Yes, it took us a while. We were people we were talking about how smart Buddy was and somebody commented or maybe we were just really dumb because <laughs> we had not locked the refrigerator. So there you go. And speaking of smart smart animals, we have a super smart chicken that somehow gets out of the cage every day. It's not a cage. It's a chicken run. Right, the, the chicken cage run. sounds so small. Okay, we have a chicken sure. Run. His whole his area, their her, habit, her, 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 her habitat. And I just, I, I feel complex about that chicken too. <laughs> but I like that you come, you go after dark, and you can take the same steps because she is roosting exactly in the same spot, and you just. Pick her up and put her back into the cage. Coop. It's a coop. It's not a cage. In the coop. You put her into the coop, and she's going to stay there overnight until dawn's early light, where she'll find the hole that we can't find and get out again. And she's the only one. None of the other ones even follow after her. Correct. They don't. But And she looks, I mean, they all look good, but, I mean, she looks like supremely good. She looks happy. <laughs> she does, she's very, Fat very happy. Chicken. But I'm afraid that an animal will get them, so it does worry me that she gets out so much. Alrighty, what's next on yours? I had that I am very thankful for all the opportunities we have. I, I'm glad you mentioned the ones that uh, the school offers, but I was really thankful for all the opportunities we have living here in Berea. I feel like there is always something to do or see or learn or support. You know, we just did the, I had Ellie Blair on about the Levitt Amp Festival. You know, there was the Maker's Market uh event there there just is always something something going on in Berea and I just love that about our community it's it's one of the, it's a huge draw for me so I love that about here and so I'm thankful for it there's things to do just entertainment things to learn mm-hmm. you know there's just lots I agree completely with that something also connected about our history in Berea you know where we went to college here and then we're settling back here in Berea there are friends here that we've um We've already earned their trust. And so it's nice, you know, to make friends or be around friends and not have to. Well, I was listening to an, an, a podcast and they were talking about that they just moved to Los Angeles. And she described the angst of trying to get to know somebody and people like trying to get them to like her and, and all that just struggle. And um, I like that we've got friends that we have already earned their trust, that we don't have to prove ourselves to them. That is nice. It, is, it, feels, it makes it feel more home, more like home. I think so. What is next for you? I had that I am thankful for my job. There are things about my job that I really like, and I am very thankful for it. I get to travel some, which at the time I complain about, but I have really loved getting to know Kentucky. And I also get to work from home a lot, uh, and I love that aspect of my job. And I like that it feels meaningful. So I really am thankful for my job. Nice. So this isn't deep, but I'm thankful we're living in the time where we're connected. We've got the internet. I love the, the connectivity we have and mainly Netflix that we can. You have Netflix. I have Netflix. What? <laughs> we're both thankful for Netflix. We the- <laughs> <laughs> I had that on my list. <laughs> Cause we are going through a uh, Gilmore girls marathon. You, you all, <laughs> yes. you and our yes. child are going through a Gilmore girls. Although we've marathon. about hit the end of where she can watch as age appropriate. So gotcha. yes, we binge watched lots of the Marvel stuff when they come out. And I think just it's added to our lives and our, our enjoyment of our lives and something else other than just entertainment connected to that way back in the day. Okay, we used to watch on MTV Real World, and it wasn't we decided it wasn't for entertainment value. It was because it showed us a slice of life that we were not privy to. Yes, that party, that <laughs> that party, cool, beautiful people going and doing party, <laughs> cool, beautiful things. We were not really in that group, that go be cool group. So, no. Right, so we got to see that through real world. And now we're getting able to see things 
in the same vein. Right. Because, you know, we've watched, um, we found some really, some pretty educational movies that we've watched with uh, family. With, our daughter, with family. You know, the one about the, you know, I know you always laugh because, you know, we just watched the one, I can't remember the name of the movie, but it was great. Can we look it up real fast? The chess girl I don't remember the name movie. of it. I'm going to look it up right now. See, going back, this is real connectivity. Della's on her phone looking up the movie. It was a, it was in a country in Africa that she decided that she wanted to play chess and become a grandmaster. But she lived in a, a slum. A Queen of Katway. Was that the name of it? Ukanda. Um, Queen of Katway. I don't know how you pronounce that. I can't remember. I think you're say, saying it correctly. Okay. Queen of you do not know. Queen of, Queen of Katwe. Uh, she was in a Ugandan okay. um, child who uh, really did just, uh, anyway, who really did just decide, uh, who could not read and had no education and uh, through chess um, made a, you know, a great life for herself and for her family. And anyway, it was very educational. It was wonderful to watch that uh, as a family and look at, as you say, look at a slice of life that you do not know normally exist. It was such a different culture, right, where this little girl was living. I'd love that we had that opportunity uh, mm-hmm. to, to, to look at that. You know, what does poverty look like in a different country? And, uh, and how, how hard is it to change your circumstances? And that was a wonderful opportunity that I know we laughed that we both had Netflix. But, you know, that was on Netflix, and we just found it and watched it. Exactly. What's on yours? Okay, so um, I have that I'll combine these up. I am so glad that we live so close to the library and so close to good food. So because we just walk all the time. But uh, but I am really I just really love the location of our house. And I love that we live so close to the library and so close to some great places to eat. Okay, this is the last thing on my list. I'm thankful that while we have all of these wonderful things of our small little town that we can walk to, we are, you know, 12 miles away from the conveniences of a bigger city. You know, we can decide we're going to go to a movie 15 minutes before it starts and, and get there if we rush. I love that, too. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that if thing we can't find something in our cupboard and we know it's not close, we can go up and there's grocery stores that will probably have the kind of olives that you cook with, with that chicken dish. Kalamata. Bless you. Funny. You, Kalamata. Do you mean, is that what you mean in my chicken? Right. Yeah. That kind okay. of thing. Yes. So yeah, those kinds of things. I think that the, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. That, you know, even in, even in sort of a rural community like Madison County, right? So I guess it's mm-hmm. kind of a little rural. We still, I think we have great access to lots of uh, varieties sure. of entertainment and food and uh, people. That was actually on my list, you know, when you mentioned the uh, people from the right and the left, we all live here in the same community and we still talk to each other. I had an eclectic community on my list. So we had Netflix and an eclectic community together on our list. That's fun. That that's the last one on my list. I love that we live in a place with such a variety of people from all different walks of life, and and I think the college. I guess I would say I'm thankful that the college is here because I think the college offers that uh, is a draw for that, and has um, sort of uh, encourages uh, lots of different kinds of people to relocate here and to and along with the people who are here because their families were here and their families were here. Right. I would add this to my list if I'd remembered it when we were writing it down. But here's something else that I'm I'm thankful for as well about our community. And you don't know this. I didn't tell you this story. I didn't know happened. the I didn't know anything on your list. Oh. Well, you don't know the story I'm about to say. Oh, okay. Like, oh, okay. I'm glad we're not live. <laughs> in no, case no, I need to filter it. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. So this was about three or four weeks ago, I can't remember, but when I was going on a Saturday morning to go to the bakery and the bagel shop for, for breakfast. Um, vandals had gone down Chestnut Street, and any pot with flowers in it, they had knocked over. No, it's true. It wasn't and, just wind. Correct, because well, no, because they were. It was like they were sitting beside the walls of all the different establishments oh. and knocked over in, and the dirt was poured out. Those Why kinds did of they things. Do that? I don't know. Did but, it make you the know, news? In front I didn't. Of the bank, I didn't see that. I didn't see it in the news. No, because it's just you know, little vandalism. Um. So it it took me that long, and it was super early. You know, I, 
for us early in the morning to walk down there. And by the time I had uh, turned around and came back, people were just cleaning up like, oh, well, you know, that's fine. So they give, you know, that there's a, a sense of hope or we're getting through this, you know, resiliency. Right. I appreciate that, that, you know, that I saw that that's a small little microcosm of something. You know what? I, I hate it that, that the vandalism happened, but you know, just, Oh man, I've got to go pick that up. And, and you do. You just so, get through it. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm thankful, you know, for the examples that I saw of resilience in our that's, community. That's really sweet. That's a sweet story. You made it a sweet story. There you go. All right. So that is it. We encourage you to go over to Facebook. We're posting more and more about this wonderful town that we're in. So go to The Berea Podcast over on Facebook. All righty. Until next week. Thank you for listening. We hope all of you have an abundance of things that you can be thankful for this year. Bye. Today is why I stay.